Hello everybody, welcome to the channel Property Wealth Decoded. The Cross Island Line will only be completed in 2032, but it is already starting to influence buying, selling and holding decisions today. And if you are unaware of this thing, today I'm going to try and tell you in this video. The Cross Island Line is likely going to level the playing field across districts. What do I mean by that? Now, the Cross Island Line is actually a line that's scheduled to be opened in 2030 and it will be the 8th MRT line in Singapore. The line basically will run from Changi to Jurong and in a way, it, it's going to stitch up residential estates such as Loyang, Pasir Ris, Tampines North, Aogang, Serangoon North, Ang Mo Kio, Sing Ming, Bukit Timah, Clementi, West Coast, and eventually terminating in Tuas Industrial Estate. And more importantly, this news is that the rail link will probably link up the whole of the central, northeast, and west areas. And why do I say that this is something that is already influencing many people's decisions in terms of buying, selling, or even holding? Because the Cross Island Line is what I would call the final piece of the jigsaw puzzle that is going to link up the whole MRT system in Singapore. And what does that actually mean? So the first station is Aviation Park and the last station being at Jurong Lake District. And the acronym would be seen as CR, which is the Cross Island uh, Line. So, CR2 is Aviation Park and CR19 is Jurong Lake District. So if I may show you the map on screen, you would realize that right in the middle of this Cross Island Rail, there are stations namely Aogang, Serangoon North, Tavistock, Angmokyo, Tekki and Bright Hill. And in these stops, you will find yourself being able to connect to the North East Line the North-South Line, as well as the Thompson East Coast Line. So, as you know, many people, when they buy property, they will always be looking for um, amenities. And MRT Station has well and truly been one of the key considerations when people are buying a condo, even for investment or for self-use. And with car prices being so high in the Singapore market today, um, it is safe to say that the consideration of having an MRT near to your house, or in fact, sometimes at doorstep, could prove to be a champion move because in future, if we go car light, there might be less people who might be driving. So, if I look and show you that the middle stations, Aogang, Amokyo and Bright Hill will be interchange stations. And if we were to go with the old way of looking at Singapore market, we always have our prime districts of 9, 10, 11, namely Novena, River Valley, Orchard, and all these districts. However, if you look at the MRT Cross Island Line, it could serve a very different picture. If I were to be staying within these few stations, or such stations apart, you will realise that you will be able to get to many parts of the island just within a few stops away. And travelling time has already been greatly reduced. And in fact, I guess, maybe one end to the other could take about 40 to 45 minutes. And therefore, this video today is to share with you that potential mindset shift in terms of even if you were to buy a property that's close to MRT, which MRT truly gets you around Singapore faster and more efficiently. Of course, that being said, these three things that you can take note, being near to MRT is definitely important, but no longer a big deal. It should be a common fare by 2030. So the selling point about this particular MRT or um, is that going to be the most important thing? I guess yes, but still what could be more valuable than an MRT station and to combine that factor could be maybe within one click to a good school. So having that MRT consideration could be augmented by another uh, top priority which is being one click to school that can also serve to protect and of course grow your investment if you were to be considering these factors as well. Point number two, 
Therefore, the prime districts of 9, 10, 11, if it's for the purposes of leasing out your property because you know you're close to town, do those uh, units only serve um, that purpose or are there other developments or properties that can offer the same convenience to your tenants without you paying a high capital value or per square foot for that house? So the true value of your property today may be worth more in future once the cross island line is um, live and goes live and therefore could I say that fundamentally there could be a shift in the true centre of Singapore when it comes to property purchases if we were to consider cross island line meaning perhaps stations or uh, that are seated more squarely like I mentioned in the central of the cross island line could become the true centre of MRT if you were to consider them. And if I may repeat, stations that have access to three North East, North South and Thomson East Coast Line are seated squarely within six MRT stations apart, namely Bright Hill, Tegge, Amokyo, Tavistock, Serangoon North and Algang. So that could be one consideration that you can pay more attention to in regard to your next property purchase. And point number three, given that these following stations could give you true access to all places in Singapore, meaning they will be the key interchanges in Singapore, and therefore, would I then consider that District 19, which is formed by Serangoon and Aokang or even Pongo, which is there's a Pongo extension that's going to be built along the Cross Island Rail as well. Is that going to be something that you need to consider deeper and be familiar enough when you're out in the market looking for an investment property? If you consider the above information and if you look at the pricing that's in the market today, does it then help you because your budget will then seem to be bigger because if you were to be investing based on the old mindset the, the per square foot will land you with a space that is smaller and if even if a tenant were to lease your house i'm sure that the extra space could come in more handy as a consideration or even a negotiating point when you try to lease out your home and if you were to be buying it for your own home or home investment if i may say your budget being bigger could also open up your considerations of different areas in Singapore when you're looking to buy your next property. So the video today, the whole concept is to let you know that the buying trends and the considerations are changing every day. So the whole method of just looking at just buying within close uh, of an MRT station itself may not be as useful or important as to which MRT station you should be buying yourself close to to increase your chances of capital gains, increase your marketability in terms of rental to your tenants, and more importantly, safeguard your investment and everybody is, you know, with inflation in play or even just as a way of protecting your wealth in wealth preservation. When you buy a property, it could be more important now to consider this, in fact, close to a decade ahead. If you like what you hear so far, or if you have other thoughts and considerations behind what I've said, feel free to make comments in the video below and I will cover them in the next few videos or please PM me and we could have a further discussion on that. Thank you.